it is hot. Or maybe it's not yet, but eventually it will be. And when it is, I want you to be looking so good. Hello friends, Parker here, welcome back. If you're new, we are all about building your confidence through fashion and lifestyle choices that are not gonna break the bank. You know how it goes. If that sounds like something you're into, join the gang. Style in the hot weather can be tough. We don't have as many pieces to work with, but I've got four easy tips for you to follow to be looking great in the hot weather. You know I love a statement piece. It's such a great hack to instantly look more stylish and bold. But the golden rule with a statement piece is you want the rest of your outfit to be pretty plain and solid colored because you don't want anything competing with your statement. Maybe it's a boldly patterned shirt or a graphic tee with something you really love on it or a bright color, whether it's in your shirt, your pants, or some shorts. Adding in this statement piece and then making the rest of your outfit pretty muted is such a great way to make it look like you know what you're doing to always look stylish. Also remember, bold style moves are totally subjective. It doesn't have to be what I consider bold. If you're a little bit more tame or you're even more bold than me, that's great. Just do something that feels bold when you wear it. Another move I love is to do a matching set of statement pieces. This is very similar to a move I'm gonna tell you about in a little bit as well. Your fabric choice can make all the difference between staying comfortable and looking good or sweating oh, profusely man. and being extremely uncomfortable. Linen is my absolute favorite. Invest in linen shirts, linen pants, linen shorts. You could even do a linen suit. All of it is so good in the hot weather. Keep in mind, it is going to get wrinkled, but if you steam it out before you wear it and then just kind of naturally let it wrinkle in certain places, it's gonna add a lot of character don't be worried about the wrinkles, it looks really nice. But if linen feels like a little bit too tropical, it's just really not your vibe, I think you're majorly missing out. But you could also do a really lightweight cotton as well. That's still gonna be very breathable, just not quite as light as linen. This hack is especially important if you need to dress up. A pair of linen pants with a nice linen button-up shirt and some loafers is as dressy as you need to be for like a beach wedding or even a nice date night when you're on vacation. I've been saying this a lot lately, it's probably getting pretty old. Intruder alert, but accessories are so important in order to differentiate yourself from everybody else, especially, like I said, because in the summertime or when the weather's really hot, we don't have a lot of other pieces to work with. There are three categories that are most important in my opinion. Hats. A straw wide brim is excellent. A baseball hat is really nice for your really casual outfits. You could do a bucket hat for your kind of beachier outfits. But honestly, whatever you feel comfortable in is perfectly fine. These are great because they're gonna add style, but they're also gonna protect your face from the sun so you don't end up looking all old and wrinkly before you're all old and wrinkly. Next category is sunglasses. Same story. These are great because they're gonna protect your eyes, but they also make you look great. It's a no-brainer. Finally is a necklace or some piece of jewelry, but personally, I think a necklace is the most stylish piece, especially in the summertime, because you're gonna be wearing your button-up shirt just like I am right now, kind of opening it up a little bit, showing off that chest, and putting on a nice minimal necklace is a perfect way to fill that space and add style. Any other big jewelry, big bracelets or rings or whatever can kind of just start to get sweaty and slide off or just stick to you. It's just, it's not good. Like we've said multiple times, we don't have tons of pieces to work with, so the Style Hack Monochrome that I've told you guys about plenty of times in the past is a great way to ensure that you're looking stylish. Essentially, all you're gonna do is wear a similar or exactly the same color top and bottom. This is what I was saying earlier with the bold orange top and bottom. You can kind of count that as monochrome as well. This is a super simple way to make your whole outfit flow together really nicely and it works from the most casual to slightly more dressy outfits. In the same way that I was saying a statement piece kind of makes you automatically look like you know what you're doing, monochrome is the same way. It just it just works. Honestly, I do this all year round, but it's a smart thing to keep in the back of your mind when you are packing for an upcoming trip or you're shopping for yourself for the upcoming summer. Match your top with your bottom, similar shades or the exact same shade of the same color, and you're gonna look great. And there you go, four easy, reliable hacks to keep in the back of your mind to always look great when it is hot as 
remembering these and using them is gonna allow you to make the most out of wearing fewer pieces and not using layers. If you are wanting or needing to shop for hot weather, I put some links down in the description to a lot of this stuff, so go check that out. As always, if you have any specific questions, you can drop them down below. You can DM me on Instagram. Be sure you go follow me there as well as on TikTok for tons of other outfit ideas, style tips, all kinds of good stuff. If you enjoyed today's video, if you found it helpful, hit that thumbs up, subscribe if you're not already, tell a friend about the channel. We're really trying to grow and get to as many people as we possibly can. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you on the next one. Bye.